Conveyors move bulk material or discrete products from one area to another and serve as main material handling arteries to improve efficiency and throughput. Advances in materials, controls, and modular subcomponents have spurred new large conveyors for bulk material transport, miniature conveyors for discrete sorting, and everything in between. During manufacture, myriad products move on conveyors, so conveyors come in an array of shapes and widths of less than 2 inches for moving extremely small parts to several feet wide. Once viewed as an afterthought, conveyors have become an integral element in nearly all automated facilities and applications. Select a conveyor first by asking, what types of product is the application moving? Conveyors for material handling of bulk product are more rugged than those for moving discrete product. In contrast, the latter requires conveyors that can advance product with more precision. How does surrounding equipment interact with the product riding on the conveyor? Conveyor Class 1 includes material handling uses in which the conveyor serves as an artery to transport bulk or discrete product in a steady stream with little interaction along the way. Class 2 includes conveyors that act as bridges to take product from one location or machine to another. Class 3 includes conveyors that take materials into or out of machines or stations. Class 4 includes conveyors that run right through machinery without break. The first two classes generally prioritize ruggedness or throughput. The last two classes need positioning and, in many cases, custom workpiece pucks to steady product while machines perform work on the product pieces. What is the maximum weight of the product being moved? Does the conveyor need to operate at a certain speed? Does the application need the conveyor system to have inclines, declines, or curves? Look for conveyor features that secure or enclose the material or product onto the conveyor. Will moisture be present in the application? Does the application need to be sanitary? Here, look for rugged or washdown rated conveyors with open frames. Most conveyors in light and medium duty discrete transport applications use belt that's wrapped around two or more pulleys. A motor powers the pulleys that in turn engage the conveyor belt. Belt styles and materials abound to meet specific applications. Some belts are low friction, so product can slide a bit for accumulation. In contrast, high friction belts have more grip to better hold products. Engineers can design such conveyors to meet exact application specifications. Timing belt conveyors use tooth belts that engage synchronous drive pulleys while serving as the conveyor surface as well. These provide excellent belt movement control for accurate part or fixture positioning. Magnetic conveyors are built with ceramic magnets for applications needing parts to adhere to the belt during processing or for jobs that require elevation changes. Higher magnet strength serves inverted applications. Vacuum conveyors work with a perforated belt that draws air through grooves in the conveyor bed plate to hold light or flimsy parts on inclines or during especially fast transport. Some metal-free conveyors have polymer bed plates instead of steel bed plates where metal scanning equipment checks product, usually food, for contaminants. Last but not least, pivot conveyors mount to a base to swing away when workers need to walk through a line. Some controls can automatically resume product flow after conveyor returns to the inline position. Where the conveyor takes the form of a timing belt conveyor, servo drives accurately stop and start the setup to provide precise part location. They also let engineers control acceleration, so work for conveyors that serve assembly lines. Encoders on a conveyor's drive shaft sense shaft rotation or count pulley revolutions for belt control in feeding or indexing. In some, though certainly not all cases, single-drive, multi-belt conveyors serve two or more lanes of product for the sake of efficiency. Here, two or more conveyors run off a single gear motor on a common drive shaft or coupled shafts. Multi-belt conveyors can also serve to move very wide products and are indispensable in setups that handle workpiece pallets. In some arrangements, the belts even mount to one conveyor frame. For more videos like this, visit designworldonline.com and click on videos.